Heat 17, the race that could win the Golden Jubilee world title for Ole Olsen being pushed off there in the white helmet color. Heat 17, and the race that could bring the Golden Jubilee world title to Ole Olsen, twice winner before, after all the drama and the upsets, he has emerged from the pack. A win here will put him absolutely in an untouchable situation. Here's the lineup. His main opposition surely must come from Markham Simmons on the inside. He's in the red helmet colour. Marek Schieslak from Poland in grid two. Olsen then looking for three points for the Golden Jubilee crown. He's in grid three and on the outside it's Jan Anderson from Sweden with three points in yellow and black. Heat 17. Is it going to be Olsen's title? Simmons is in second place. He'll try, so too will John Anderson around the outside. But Olsen has made the start, and now really he's just got to keep going to win that crown. Simmons will chase hard, but Simmons is not on his best bike. He'll try his hard out, but my word, this man Oli Olsen takes a bit of catching when he gets up there in fresh air. Olsen stretching away down the back straight. Simmons still going oh so hard because it's still possible if he can get by. Manager Pete Adams, there he's the boy in the sports jacket. And I'm quite sure when he gets to the pits, there'll be the usual traditional reception party. Ole Olsen, the favourite, has won the crown. But we still have got an awful lot of questions to be answered about who finishes second and third. Congratulations, that's a nice gesture to Ivan Major, the reigning champion until just a moment ago. Ivan, of course, was only Olsen Svengali in his early days. Olsen is delighted, and uh, who can really blame him? It's worth £100,000 in perks, sponsored, of course, by the Sandy Mirror in association with Volkswagen. There's Jerry Stansel, one of his teammates at Coventry, and he really is getting quite a reception.